Well, starting this week, food trucks are about to take over the streets of Indy. Now, that's right. Food Truck Friday kicks off tomorrow. But how do you know those trucks are being safe with your food? Our Alyssa Raymond actually doing some digging press this morning to get us some answers. Hey, Alyssa. Ben, Julia, good morning. First off, these food trucks have to have permits and licenses, and these are pretty easy to spot. So like this one, for example, this is the permit from Hamilton County. And then also, these food trucks are subject to similar random inspections, much like restaurants. So we did some looking through these inspections, and some of the red flags that came up that these places got cited for are things such as gloves. So employees have to wear gloves when they're preparing your food, and you can also check to see if they touch something and be without changing their glove because that's important to prevent cross-contamination. The other big thing is the, the lack of hair restraint. So these employees must wear some sort of hair restraint, such as a net or a hat. We're also talking about sponges. So if you see an employee using a sponge, that's actually not allowed because of the cross-contamination as well. And we'll also talk about those two last things, the equipment and ventilation with Mr. Mr. Lee Jones, he joined us in our last half hour to talk about fire hazards as well as how to prevent these. So, Lee, you're with Corson Fire and Security. This is your expertise. We heard about this food truck explosion a couple years ago that killed a mother and a daughter. I mean, how do you prevent something like this from happening? There are a couple of things you can do. Every food truck should have a K-class fire extinguisher that would be for grease fires uh, and an ABC fire extinguisher that would be for fuel or wood or paper. The most important thing on the on the hood system that's inside is you have cooking equipment that gives off grease vapors. A fire suppression system would be key and would have nozzles over each one of those pieces of equipment. So in the event of a fire, it would suppress that fire, it would shut off the gas, electricity that would keep something like that, minimize something like that from happening. And currently the fire suppression system is not required, but you eventually foresee that going towards that. I foresee that in the next year or two, that being something that, that is going to be mandatory, yes. Thank you, Lee. Thank you. And coming up in about 20 so minutes. We'll have some more red flags that we want to share with you. There's probably three more that you definitely want to keep your eye out for if you're heading out to any of these food truck festivals this weekend. Back to you in the studio. Hey, good to know about you. want to enjoy the good food, especially if your kids are coming, but you want to make sure everything's on the up and up just so you don't get sick. Thank you very much, Alyssa.